And the judge just going over the exhibits one more time prior to her selection. And she's just asked, to, yeah, there we are. Yeah, we see an example of the judge wanting to check outline and asking both dogs to be positioned the same way. It makes it a lot easier to judge the dogs if they are facing the same way. The outline is very difficult with two dogs end to end. Judge taking her time over this class, a good class of good young winning dogs come up through the puppy and junior classes and now competing against each other in the postgraduate class. Stiff competition here. Well done, Mrs. Steele. And this is Vives Pesha being asked to move again. This judge just not quite sure on which is going to be placed first. And Mr. Martin being asked to move again. So it is a difficult class for her to decide. Mr. Mackay with Russet Mantle Reed of Woodglade, another former pointer exhibitor and now visual exhibitor. Each dog still being asked to move. And here we have Mrs. Gottlieb with Russet Mantle Quiver. This dog has two cc's already to his credit. Looking very good there. Judge taking a great deal of trouble to look at this dog. Very relaxed dog, taking everything in its stride. Taking a good deal of time over this dog, the judge. I'll just point out to the exhibitor where she would like the dog to move. And there we see a perfect illustration of how the judge likes to see the dog. Straight up and down and then a triangle using the whole of the ring. And next we see Mr. Dashwood handling himself this time with Russet Mantle Quest. And a quick look down the line before the judge makes her decision. Quest just tagging on the end of the line. Two Farquhar's dog there, we didn't actually see, but that's Istvan Gion. 
the judge seems to be very interested in Jock Mackay's dog. Again, very interested in the front angulation. And also having a good look at my sick man with quiver. Again, the same remarks apply. Seems to be finding it very difficult to choose between the two here. Now you see Mr. Dashwood just setting his dog up for presentation. I don't know what Dick Evans is doing in the bushes at the back there, but uh, just as well we glossed over it. And she's asking for these two dogs to be moved together. This must be a very difficult choice here between these two. Both used to top winning. Moving quite nicely considering they're alongside each other. And being asked to go again, it really is a toughie, this one. No problem for the dogs though. They just love to go. And I think she's seen all she wants to see. This will be a nail biting decision for most of the people watching. I think she's made her mind up. Yes, it's Quiver first, Reed second, and a very close second, I would imagine, with Quest third. And Castlefield Kettle Drum from the previous class being brought into the reserve position. And here we have the top class, Open Dog. This is a class open to champions and ticket winners. With Mr. Dashwood from the Limit class standing by as a shown dog. Paddy Winters there with Captain Quincy of Glen Dunn. Very famous fizzler at the moment, done a hell of a lot of winning. Show champion Fandango in the Son of Hookside with Martin Elliott. Just having a close up there. Alongside him was the American import, US champion Penley's Red Alert at Castlefield, owned by Mrs. Coombe. And here we see show, camp, show champion Captain Quincy of Glen Dunn, Mr. and Mrs. Winters, their first Vigla. And by golly, what a Vigla to choose for your first one. I'm not sure of the number, but I think it's got somewhere in the region of 14 cc's. A superb record for this very young dog, comparatively, at three years of age. A super ambassador of our breed. Best in show at the Merseyside Gun Dog Championship show. and moving quite nicely for the judge. And so he should with the record that he's got behind him. The next dog is show champion Fandango in the Sun at Hookside, owned by Mr. Elliot. Made this dog into a champion earlier this year. Again, another very good dog. Beautifully handled and presented. And now moving off in his triangle. Here is the American import, Penley's Red Alert at Castlefield. I'll just check the catalogue, he's just coming up to th three years of age. 
bred in the uh, United States by Mrs. Anderson. It's quite dark and quite different to the visitors we're used to, but none more for that. A very shy dog, and easily handled and presented there by Mrs. Coombe. And moving quite nicely too. And this is Mr. Evans with Magyar Buzzard. Again, another CC winning dog. So it's really a top quality entry in this open class. Joe's quite satisfied now and asking Mr Evans to move his dog for her. I think he found it quite boring, I'm, I'm not sure. And there comes a very difficult decision in this open class. A really super class, each dog showing himself off to the very best of their abilities and making it a very difficult decision for the judge. and the dog from the limit class there on the end. Each dog immaculately presented by the handlers as you would expect in the quality of this class. Judge is still not sure. Just going back to the exhibits for final deliberation. And she's chosen show champion Captain Quincy of Glen Dunn in first place with Fandango in the Sun second. And third was Magyar Buzzard. And reserve was the American import Penley's Red Alert. Just making quite sure that she's got them as she wants them. We now come to the lineup of the unbeaten dogs. This is for the challenge certificate. And we have the open winner, Captain Quincy of Glen Dunn, the limit dog winner, Russet Man of Quiver. There you see the second in open who is allowed to come in if the judge so wishes, which he has asked for. The junior dog, Hookside Satin, and the puppy dog, Russet Mantle Orth at Winsmore. A lovely line up here for the challenge, one of which will become the best dog, and of course the reserve best dog with the reserve CC. Hoping to go forward then for the challenge for best in show for the winner of the bitches. And the judge is going to ask them all to move again. Just to refresh the memory. Nice close up there of the dog as he came towards the camera. And going away. Paddy I notice hasn't got his suit on today. Must be something to do with the weather. Mrs. Gottlieb with Quiver, Russet Man of Quiver. Again, a close up of the dog coming and going away. A similar view to that of which the judge is looking for. Hookside Saturn.
and asking for the puppy, Russet Mantle, off. He really has done well, this puppy, today. He seems to be thoroughly enjoying his show. Again, a good close-up of the dog on the move. Cantering a bit there, but that's no problem. Judge has asked him to go again, just to settle him down and check for the movement properly. And again, he's broken into a trot. Obviously, he wants to get on with things. And this is the second in open, Fandango in the Sun, being handled by a fellow exhibitor for Mr. Elliot. He's already got Saturn in the ring. And just going through his paces once more. Judge now going over to have a look at the exhibit and she's gone to the puppy. Now this is an interesting choice. I wonder if she's considering this puppy for the ticket. Be most unusual if she does. But she she's having a good look at his front. She's checking him over very thoroughly at the front there. Obviously this dog must be in consideration for an award of some kind. And taking a great deal of trouble over this puppy. And he has shown well today, there's no question about that. Judge is very keen on the puppy, I think. One final line up. Some dogs in the background, they think it's great fun. They're not worried about who's got what this, this time. Just looking at the junior dog. I think she's calling for the CC Awards. She's obviously made her choice. There's the Kennel Club Awards for the CC, the Challenge Certificate winner. And it goes to Captain Quincy of Glen Dunn. I think that's 15, I'm not sure. He's got so many at the moment. And the reserve CC goes to the puppy, Russet Mantle Orf. That's a lovely award for that young dog, who shows so well today. The handler must be very pleased with that. And taken round the ring to the applause of the spectators, the two top dogs, the winner of the open class and the puppy dog. Beautifully presented and handled today. And one last look at show champion captain Quincy of Glen Dunn and Russet Mantle Orff at Winsmore. And there'll be a break for lunch before the judging of the bitches, and there we see a luncheon group. Hi, Jean. Yes, yeah, she's seen me. Hello, everybody. They're having a good time. So she should. She's just won the dog ticket. Cheers, Paddy. And having a consultation there with the Our Dogs re reporter, photographer, who are featuring the show today. And the weather seems to have brought the best out in everybody. Refreshments are inside, so the ringside's a little bit sparse. Unless, of course, you bought your own picnic, as some people have. A very casual affair for a championship show. Not benched, not necessary with our breed. Dogs behaving themselves admirably today. Some of the trophies on offer at the table outside the hall there. And our friends from Scotland who've brought their own lunch. He seems to be taking a big bite too. Yes, he sent me. I'm sorry about that. Still, never mind. And a general look round the, the venue, which has been an absolute delight today. And we start after lunch with the minor puppy bitch class with three exhibits for the judge. Again, they're just being asked to move around, calming themselves down.